Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Siro. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do your weekly love prediction reading for Pisces for October 1st through October 6th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, compassionate, kind, sweet, fun, Pisces. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Pisces? Let's see Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Empress, Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Queen of Pentacles is leading your reading. Queen of Pentacles is that, that woman that has everything. She has money. She knows she has everything. She she's a she's a good girl too. Um she um she knows how to make her own bag. But yet and still she's missing something. She's missing something. I think she's missing something. The reason I said it is because this hermit card is here. The hermit card is next to this Queen of Pentacles. This is Someone that has a bag, has the money, has everything, but they're missing that one thing that they really want, which is the love. There is a, there is a baby here. There is a baby here. But let me tell you what, what I'm, I'm going to tell you right here. <sighs> With this baby, there has been some deception. Because I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm not quite sure if you know 100% who... I think you're pregnant, but I don't think you know 100% who the baby's father is. I'm just... This is just what I see with these cards. The Hermit card is a dark night of the soul. This is feeling down, depressed, looking for the light, trying to figure out what the heck has happened here because you are pregnant. And you, you know, it's not like that you, the, you got your money, you got your bag, but you're missing something. And what you're missing is the love and the pregnancy and the family, all of that. But now you're pregnant. But let me say something I strongly believe with this Seven of Swords here. You're not quite sure who the baby's father is, and that's going to be the downfall here. You're not quite sure who the baby's father is. And I, and I see this quite openly because here is this queen of swords. Don't try to step up. I'm just saying, Pisces, don't get upset with me. But look, you've got to be decisive here. You've got to find out who the baby's father is. You've got to do a DNA test. It just is what it is. Not your fault. Ish happens. Things happen. I'm not here to judge you. But there is some deception around a child. And this deception, like I said, you're down, feeling down and out because the one thing that you wanted, you thought you were getting ready to get. You got your money, you got your bag, you're, you're kind, you're open hearted, all of that. You're respected in the community. You might have your own business, all of that. But still, you want this child. But this child, you're not quite sure who the child's father is. Just being honest. And here's the queen of swords. You're being, you're, you're, um, you got to be decisive. You got to do a DNA test. You have to. You got to have that Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords energy is a yes and no. Queen of Swords is either it's him or, or the other one. That's what that energy is, and that's what the energy you have to bring to this table. And see, the reason I say that because look, the Seven of Swords is in the middle of this Queen of Swords and the Empress. The Empress is fertility, pregnancy. You're pregnant, but you're not sure who the father is. I'm sorry. Now you have a dark night of the soul that's going on too because you feel down and depressed because you know once you let them both know this. And, and something could have just happened where you didn't mean this to happen, but it happens. It just happens. And the baby deserves to know, and you deserve to know, and the man deserves to know who the actual father is. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to find out additionally what the spirit guys want you to know. Sit back, relax. Just let's see here. Let's see. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Queen of pentacles can represent a Taurus, a, 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 a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But let's see. Why is this queen of pentacles here show me spirit guys why is the queen of pentacles here oh 
Seven of Swords again. Oh, thank you, Spirit Guys. When the Spirit Guys give you that same card to read, I'm telling you, I'm reading exactly what they want me to tell someone. I don't know who this is, but you know that you know you know that you don't know who the father is hundred percent. And you're down and out because you know you have to do a DNA test. You have to do a DNA test. And you know they're both gonna be hurt, but it is what it is, and things do happen. At least you step up to the table as a woman and do a DNA test. You don't lead them both on. You let them know that this has to occur. Ish happens. So let's see why the Hermit card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Hermit card here for my Pisces? Four of Wands. Yeah, you were looking for marriage. Yeah, Four of Wands is having a marriage celebration. You see that that Four of Wands, but I don't know. If you, that's what you're worried about. That's what you're depressed about because you know that. And you may very well have been in love with someone else. And oops, you made a mistake. I'm just going to be honest. You made a mistake, you didn't clear it, and you know, every time we get intimate with someone, if, if we're in those childbearing ages, no matter what you do, sometimes you can also become pregnant. So, the Four of Wands is here because you were supposed to get married to this one person, and I do believe this was just a slip up, but it, it happened, it happened. So, let's see why the Empress card is here, show me spirit guides. That's why you're feeling deep, dark, because you know, you know. This is going to be difficult. This is a difficult situation to be in. So let's see why the Empress card is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Empress card here for my Pisces? Two of Pentacles, yeah. Two of Pentacles is your emotions are everywhere. Not only that, you're pregnant. Your hormones are everywhere. But you know it's also a decision that has to be made. That decision has to be made over this pregnancy. You have to, you know you're going to keep your baby, obviously. But what I see is there's a decision that has to be made that is very difficult right now. Because both both men should know as well as the child should know as well as you should know. And you know what you have to do. So let's see why this Seven of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Swords here again? Show me spirit, guys. Page of Cups. <sighs> Page of Cups is over the Seven of Swords because whoever this was, I do believe that you had an indiscretion with. And I don't say it's an indiscretion. Hey, you, whoever you, it was that you, you know, that caused this, this, um, I, I'm going to say betrayal, this deception. He's young, he's fun, he's spontaneous. And this was just a, a this was, and I, I'm going to be very honest, he may be different from you, could be all those things. He was unique possibly, but here's the deal. He's young, he's... This just ha this happened, and I hate to say it as cavalier as it just happened, but it just happened.